It's Thursday, July 14th at 9 a.m. and I'm at the Camden East Alvar making another return visit to this site to see what it looks like in the middle of the summer. It's a beautiful day, about 23 degrees right now, clear blue skies, just a light breeze. Already I can see a number of flowers in bloom, a mix of native and non-native species, so I'll talk a little bit about some of these ones that we see. Hoping also that we can see some interesting insects out here. Some of the butterflies that should be expected at this time of year feeding on all these flowering trailside plants. So we'll see what we find. This is some spotted knapweed or Centoria maculata. It has these nice pincushion like flowers or it's also called a pincushion type flower it's a non-native plant it grows in sort of wasteland areas or disturbed soils such as you would find along the sides of roads and trails which is where it's growing here and it can really take the high heat and drought characteristics often found on alvars so it doesn't mind being out here in the very shallow soil where it gets often little rain and lots of heat. Very pretty, it's uh, quite attractive to a lot of insects, so it does perform a valuable role in that regard, feeding local insect populations. This is narrow-leaved vervain, or verbena simplex. This is a common vervain found on alvar areas. It's got these stiff-looking stems and leaves with these long racemes of flowers usually which only a small section is in bloom at a time. Pale, mauve, little flowers, uh, very pretty plant. And again, common on the shallow soiled limestone areas. Uh, it's nice to be out on the Alvars again. Something about the heat out here and the bright sunshine, the wide open spaces and the birds singing, field sparrows, towhees. This trail hasn't been getting a lot of use. The grass is uh, well grown up on the sides as well as the middle. So just occasional walking and ATV use, I suspect.
just approaching the Love Road Marsh down on the east end here and there's quite a few deer flies in this section which is sort of what I expected get into a more marshy wooded area with scattered openings and uh, typically you get quite a few deer flies mosquitoes as well but anyhow we'll be at the marsh shortly and the dogs can have a little bit of a swim and a drink at least it's quite dry here otherwise see the deer flies here around Zoe quite a pile I'll let them off Zoe's gone off after some ducks that were out there I didn't think she'd go that far Luna just likes to get cooled down and then popped right out hooded mergansers there's about three of them out there they just flew off to the side a bit Oh, you better watch out. There could be some big snapping turtles in there. Come on, Zoe. You're not used to swimming that far. You silly thing. You silly thing chasing ducks like that. I'd almost think you're a bird dog. Of course you are a bird dog. So it's quarter to 11 and the dogs have just finished their swim at the Love Road Marsh for lack of a better name. Just because it's on Love Road, I'll call it that. Not sure if it has an official name. Anyhow, it's uh, continuing to be a beautiful day. We've walked 5.7 kilometers here on the trails. Gonna head back west again along this same trail to the central part of the area. And then decide what to do there, whether to go north or simply head out and call it a morning. It's not uncommon on Alvars or other limestone areas to find large cracks or grikes in the ground. These are basically results of water movement and ice cracking over the millennia. Some of them get quite deep. This one here is probably four or five feet deep. And the main crack itself that I can see is probably 15 feet long. Well, I think I just heard my first cicada of the year. Cicadas are these fairly large, thick-bodied insects that sing from the tops of trees in the summer. They have a high buzzing sound usually, or varieties of buzzing and trilling, clicking sounds, depending on the species. So they're another true sign of midsummer. Once you start hearing cicadas,
you can see that for a good part of the year, this area is flooded with water. And that's a characteristic of Alvars. They often flood in the spring quite extensively because of the shallow soil and the fact they're situated on solid limestone bedrock. And then they dry out fairly quickly once the summer dry periods come. As for butterflies, I haven't had much luck getting pictures of any of them. Well, except for the uh, one skipper so far. But I've seen sulfurs and cabbage white butterflies, Canadian tiger swallowtail, lots of wood nymphs, and a couple uh, pearly eyes, I think. Um, monarch, one monarch, and a fritillary, probably great spangled, but I didn't get a good look at it. They're all very touchy today, very quick to jump as soon as you get near them. So certainly when I have dogs with me and stuff, it's uh, sometimes hard to get pictures of them, but uh, all in all though, not really a ton of diversity as far as the butterflies. I was hoping for quite a bit more. Here's a nice little clump of wild bergamot or Monarda fistulosa. It's a native bee balm that occurs on alvars and other dry areas. There's a little grouping of it here, but I haven't actually seen a lot of it during my walk today at all. Just this area and a few other scattered places. On alvars I'm familiar with in other places, it can be quite common or quite abundant. Luna is always finding and looking for her little patches of shade to get out of the direct sun as it does get hot out here. Well, it's 10 to 12 and we've just finished about nine kilometers of hiking. So we're going to head out now. Hope you've enjoyed this little cruise around the Camden East Alvar in midsummer. A lot of the plants are actually burned to a crisp, which is common on Alvars. Once you get the summer heat and dryness like we have had lately, the plants dry out and whizzle up very quickly. So many of them are already at that stage. Some are still in pretty good condition, but uh, it really is a place to come for spring and early summer wildflowers sort of may june is sort of the prime time but you can still see some interesting things at this time of year of course and then in later summer if we manage to get good amounts of rain sometimes you get a reflush of some of the earlier species just coming back to bloom again for a little bit so they're interesting places to check out throughout the growing season because you never know exactly what you're going to see and that's part of the allure of nature observation is it's always a guess as to what you might see on any particular day at any particular place. So anyhow, I hope you've enjoyed this little wander around the Camden East Alvar. Signing off. <laughs>